Hello, my beautiful people. I am Mina. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring episode. Tonight, we are gonna be doing some bloom swipes, which I'm super, super excited about because I have come up with some color combinations that are just out of this world beautiful and very much inspired by my good friend, Karen Dershin from Waterfall Acrylics. So I'm gonna show you my colors in a minute. This, I believe is a 20 inch round, just about half an inch. And uh, we're gonna pour on that. I wanna show you the ingredients for everything really quick. HOA, can you get over here? So first for our pouring medium, I'm using, I can put them over here. Bare interior, exterior, high gloss enamel, deep base. And I've mixed that with Minwax Polycrylic and clear satin. And this makes our pouring medium for our colors. Okay, and then we are using for our pillow paint, Tonight we are using a new one. This is Glidden Essentials Semi-Gloss Base One in interior paint. So, and this is nice and thick and creamy. And that's mixed with the GAC 800, which I'm almost out of. <laughs> and then our cell activator tonight is this Amsterdam Blue Violet, and it's mixed with a smidge of black, just a tiny, tiny bit, which that part Karen Dershin did in one of her videos, and it was just, it was so beautiful. Again, she did it with like pinks, I think, it was so pretty. And the cell activator is Australian Floetrol, not American Floetrol. So that's what everything is made of. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first color that I'm super, super excited about is this one. This is Golden's Nickel Azo Gold, and I have added to that just a few squirts of the Treasure Gold Fire Opal. And it's beautiful. <laughs> I'm so excited about this one. It's so pretty. So this is the Nickel as a Gold with the Fire Opal. And then I'm using also Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt. That's this one. Beautiful, dreamy, gorgeous, gorgeous color. I love that. And last but not least, we are using some Liquitex Quinacridone Blue Violet, and to that I have added a little bit of the Treasure Gold um, Anti Copper, and it's so pretty. So this is a little bit thicker than I was mixing it before, but I think this is going to be the right consistency. So, and then last but not least, we have that Cell Activator. That's the Permanent Blue Violet mixed with a little bit of black. And this is the Australian Floetrol. Okay. Not super, 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 super thin like I had it before. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. You go over there, you go over there, and you come over here and he's gonna make a mess, I know it. Okay, so this is our pillow paint, thick. This is mixed with GAC 800 already. And it is leaving a mound on a mound and a trace. Okay, so we're gonna put that there. We're gonna pour ourselves a nice little pillow to work in. And I have taped the back of this wooden round with frog tape. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna put a pillow in there. That's pretty good. Come on, stop. You go back over there. All right, so we're gonna start off with some Nickel Azo Gold. And we're just gonna kinda put down a bit like that. And then we're gonna come in with the blue violet and the anti-copper. And then some of the metallic cobalt. Okay. I think we're gonna use our uh, square one tonight. Okay, so cell activator, put some on there, spread it out. This is a lot thicker than I was doing it before, but I think it's gonna do beautiful things. Okay. All right, are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, ma'am, are you ready? Okay, so let's swipe this. Okay, that's really pretty. Cool. That 
That's awesome. Yay. I love that uh, metallic cobalt with the purpley cell activator. And I love the nickel as gold popping in there. And I'm glad we got some of that white with the lacing on it. And this part's really pretty. There's some like peacock green there from the nickel as a gold or the antique copper. That's very pretty right there. Very iridescent-y. We're gonna go around here with a pillow, a little bit more of the pillow paint. Make sure we have a good amount on there and it's easy to tilt. We're not gonna run into any problems. Okay. I'm just gonna pull this towards the edge with my finger. first. Actually, no, I'm going to take it down this way first. I want to get one of those sides over the edge and hook it there. I think I'm going to aim for that bottom bit of purple. Okay, we're going to bring this back now. Yeah. Maybe we should take this edge down a little bit. I think I get a space balance. Okay. So let's look at this real quick. First of all, this in here, the nickel as a gold with just a little bit of that antique copper and that purple lacing and a little bit of white lacing on there is just so pretty. I kind of want to take this off this edge here. I think I need to do that. But that metallic cobalt is beautiful. <laughs> Nickel as a gold looks amazing. I love that gradation that it goes from the white into that like softer yellow and then into the orange and then back into the yellow. That's really beautiful. Now all this kind of needs to get opened up. Light lacing in there is gorgeous. Okay, so let's see, where's the weight of the paint now? So we're going to bring this side down just a little bit so we can open up some of that metallic cobalt. Bring it 
back towards me to get the weight of the paint behind where I want it to go. And now I'm going to bring it down. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Very cool. We need to get rid of this thing, or should we keep it? You think? That's interesting. Looks like an iguana. <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave this one like this. I'm not tempt fate. Leave well enough alone, because I do like it. I like the composition. I love that all the colors are coming through there. I like the little bits of like this peacocky sort of color that's been over there. I like these. Very, very pretty. There's some really cool cells right there. <laughs> but this, this is what's, I don't know if you could see it, there's like some really, really faint lacing from the cell activator on top of the white that's just making this sort of cloudy-ish, like this sort of deal, but like shrunken up. Really cool. Okay, I'm gonna put this one back there and then we're gonna grab one more canvas and we're gonna do another one. So you don't torch house paint. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I wanted to try something and see if it worked. This is a cookie spatula from Wilton. And I'm gonna see if I can't scoop up some paint with it easily. Okay, let me scoot over. Aha, look at that, that's cool. Just need one. Alright, I'll get the rest of them off later. Let's see if we can't pour that in there. Alright, let's get the other canvas. Our little dudes back. Our dudes of holding. <laughs> and now we have, I think this is a 12 by 12 wood panel, half an inch. These are really lightweight. This is actually not my favorite thing to work with. But, okay. All right. Yeah, they're not real thick at all. So we're going to put down a pillow again. Okay, so we've got our pillow down. Let's change up the order just a little bit. I'm going to put some of the Nicolazzo. I'm going to actually use... What did we put down first? We put down the, the purple, didn't we? Now do we put this one? I don't know. We're going to do it this way, and then I'm going to add another layer at the end. But I'm going to add another Activator. Out. Drip off the 
edge. Out a bit. Yeah, why is there white on there? Okay. Are you ready, husband of possibles? Probably less. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna go this way first. I'm gonna start in the white. Mm -hmm. Come through this way. And go back up. A lot of white in there. I love this one, but there's a lot of white in that part, which is not really what we want. Did you pull it up from the bottom? I might be able to swipe it again, but I might need to put a little bit more color down there. I think I need to put a little bit of, well, let's tilt it out and see what happens. Because it is kind of cool. I do love that bit, and I like all the lacing with the cell activator on the white. Start over here this time. Are you ready? Yep. See how there's like a dent right there? We're just gonna give this a moment to like reset itself and gather back up in the center. We're getting some really cool kind of green colors and purple colors. And that blue in there is amazing and that's amazing. These are really cute. These are really cute, they're tiny. Makes me wanna go put on my glasses. <laughs> I love this little tail of the metallic cobalt in through all that white, it's beautiful. Just a moment to see if that collects more. If it doesn't, we just, it's fine if we have to tilt over that, that's okay. okay. We're gonna go that way first. I wanna keep as much of that metallic cobalt on there as possible. Don't want to lose it. Go over this side. Take away the paint down. Across the camera. 
just to open this up. corner so that it moves a little easier right here. I'll take it down that way now. Oh, the bubble's still there. some really cool parts but it's got some like kind of pale parts that are a little muddy-ish. I really want that little bit to just touch the edge. I think we're gonna lose some of that at the bottom. I'd rather open up the cool parts. moving easy. I could take off a lot more. Take off more of the bottom here too. Just shrink up the middle just a little bit and maybe that edge a bit and I think we're going to be done. That's pretty neat. <laughs> what do you think, HOA? Yeah. Okay. I think we're going to stay there with that one. So, these are just amazing right now. That's really, really pretty. We lost a little bit of it there, but, but we have these still, which are gorgeous. I love that Nicoleza gold and the purples we used, the anti-copper. I like the metallic cobalt in there. This is really interesting, all gasoline-y kind of very very metallic well everything was metallic except for the cell activator this is really pretty i love these tiny little cells i like these yeah this is cool thank you guys so much for being here i will show you these in just a minute okay so this is actually a couple of days later and it is dry i see an iguana <laughs> 
but he's really cool. I love these cells. This part over here with the Nicolazzo gold with the fire opal and that permanent blue violet cell activator. It's just so pretty to me. I love it. Just gorgeous. I like this kind of like light blue with the purple and the metallic cobalt in there. Just really, really pretty. I love this part up here. I hope you guys can see this like super fine kind of puffy, really faint cell activator lacing on there. It's just gorgeous. I really like this piece a lot. So this is the iguana. <laughs> Let me get the other one. Okay. And here's the square panel we did. This one looks kind of like an eye to me. I might call this one Eye of Horus. I really love this. So this one we did the first swipe was um, a lot of white in there. Hello Zen, you gonna come say hi? And um, because there was a lot of white, I re-swiped it again. I put down more color and that gave us these sort of darker tones in here. Almost a little bit of brownish kind of, but I really like that contrast, especially like right in here. It's so pretty. Itty bitty tiny little cells. And then this very sort of like iridescent gasoline-y sort of look in the middle. And then somehow we ended up with like poofy cloud cells. <laughs> this part's probably my favorite part of this whole thing. I love this. I love these cells. They're so cute. Fat and chubby. A little bit of the Nicolazzo gold. Some purple around it. And then some of that metallic cobalt on top. I really like this one. It's softer. Not nearly as bright. I'll show you the other one real quick. Lots of color on this one, but this one's more muted. But still very, very cool. So, this is Eye of Horus. So that's Iguana and the Eye of Horus. <laughs> I know, we're a little bit silly over here. And there goes the sun behind a cloud, but that's okay. Actually, you can see it kind of better now. So this was really fun. I love these bloom swipes. I'm definitely going to keep playing with them. Thank you guys all so much for being here with us. I really appreciate you and your comments. Please make sure you are subscribed so that you do get our notifications. And uh, check out our Facebook page and give me a like over there. I would really appreciate it. It's Mina Villegas Art on Facebook. And I will see you guys on Friday. Have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>